Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. A few days ago, I posted our real life house tour. So if you haven't checked that out already, I'll drop the link in the comments below. So go check that out when you're done with this video. But I had a few questions. I mentioned that we were um, packing, heading to the beach, and I had a few people ask um, what that looked like for a family of five with three toddlers specifically. So um, we are leaving for the beach in a few hours. We're leaving first thing um, tomorrow morning, so less than 24 hours. So I'm gonna walk you through, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna walk you through um, what I pack for the beach, how I pack for the beach, um, give you an idea of what, give you an idea of, give you an idea of what all we need. <laughs> give you an idea of what we need for a family of five. So um, follow me upstairs and I'll show you what we have so far. Okay, so this is kind of what um, my bedroom floor looks like right now. Um, I have each kid's clothes laid out. So I have Jackson's stuff, Olivia's stuff, Colton's stuff. So I'm trying to get it organized. So I'll make sure I have everything that I need for each kid. So each kid just has underwear, PJs, um, we're doing family pictures, so family picture outfit, swimsuits, um, and swim shirts. Um, my kids burn easily, so make sure we have them covered up a little bit. And then they all have about eight outfits, um, plus a sweatshirt, um, just in case it's cool any of the evenings. So same thing for Olivia, underwear, PJs, swimsuits. Um, beach outfit, sweatshirt, and then she has a little more than eight outfits. She likes to change her clothes a lot, and I really don't want to be um, doing laundry while we're at the beach. There is a washer and dryer if I need it, but just try to avoid that. So Colton has nap outfits and swaddles. We love the sleeping baby, um, I think it's zippity zip. I just call them looks like a baby starfish, basically. It's like just a wearable blanket. Um, PJs picture outfit, swimsuits, um, a bunch of extra outfits, um, and onesies just for napping and a sweatshirt in case he needs it for anything. And then my stuff is over here. All right, so my stuff, I just have a pair of pants and a sweatshirt just in case it's chilly in the evenings at all. Underwear, brawls, um, some loungewear, just some comfy shorts and a pair of leggings just in case it's chilly. An overabundance of swimsuits. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be comfortable in. Um, there is a beach and a pool, so I'm not sure what I'll want there. Tank tops, t-shirts, pitcher outfit, and just a couple pair of shorts. I really don't have a ton that fits me right now, so I may need to do laundry for myself, but hoping this is plenty. So I did manage to get all of three kids' clothes shoved into one suitcase. I left out a travel outfit for each kid and a bathing suit out for each kid. We have early check-in, so we are able to get into the house early, but for some reason, if it's not ready, we have access to the community pool. So I just wanna have a bathing suit out, um, or at least that I don't have to unpack a whole suitcase just in case um, we do go to the pool. I don't have to dig through everything. I'm just kinda right on top. So I'm going to shove the kids um, bathing suit for each kid. I'm going to shove a bathing suit for each kid in this pocket up front and just kind of zip it up in there. That way it's easy to get to should we need it early before we can get into the house. And then they will throw on these outfits when they wake up in the morning before we get in the car. I got all my stuff to fit into this large Vera Bradley bag, no problem. I'll just zip that up. So now I'm just kind of shoving random things um, into my bag um, that didn't really go into the suitcases. So I have just this bag that um, it's waterproof on the inside. So I like to use that to pack anything that could possibly spill. Um, I just have a belly band, curling iron, bib for Colton. This bag has kids toothpaste, um, some sort of coconut body spray and fingernail polish. I have one of my cameras. The other one's still in Colton's room, so I won't be able to pack that until the morning as well as the parent monitor. Um, two sound machines, one for when Colton's napping in our room and then one for the big kid's room. My kids have always used sound machines and I just like the cheap, um, what is it, Hometics 
um, is simple enough. Um, my makeup bag, this is like extra um, shampoo, conditioner, soap, and then face wash for me in a plastic bag, deodorant, um, sunscreen. I do have two more big things. I think I have another spray. We like to do spray while we're at the beach just because it's easier to apply, but I do have a big thing of lotion for kind of do community um, sunscreen when we go to the beach with our families. Just a big bottle of lotion sunscreen downstairs that's already packed. Um, little just rubber hair ties for Liv and I, Q-tips. Um, I got these cute little um, metal clips. I don't know if you can see them. Coming like silver and gold that I have been liking for my hair. Um, Tums, extra headbands. And here, this is still packed from when we went to the beach a couple weeks ago. Toothbrushes for the kids, toothpaste for me, my toothbrush, um, some acne stuff. My face has been breaking out like crazy. Lip gloss, mascara, even though I have eyelashes on now. Um, extra contacts, chapstick with sunscreen. I think some, there's some random earrings in here. Um, fingernail clippers. Oh, this is one of the... There's a little hair clips that I got from Amazon that have been working really well. Um, and then just face care, razor, and extra other makeup for me. So I'm just going to shove all of this into my waterproof bag. Um, stuff that has more possibility of leaking is in Ziplocs. And then everything else, since this is still sealed, will just go in um, by itself. Last couple things that I'm shoving in my beach bag. Um, towels, hats, I have a big hat for me and then just a baseball hat and then hats for all three kids. A waterproof bag that I shove my phone in um, to keep it from getting wet or sandy while we're at the beach. Um, some, it's a big sunscreen I was talking about and then face sunscreen, I use Blue Lizard cups that are easy for the kids just to put water in for the beach. An extra hand soap for our bathroom at the house. Um, bug bands that I got. I um, just got a bunch of them from Christmas Tree Shop. Put on kids' ankles or wrists. Um, swim diapers I have disposable for at the beach and then um, reusable ones for the pool at the house. And then each kid has a pair of sneakers, water shoes, and then sandals for the big kids to walk to and from the beach with. I'm just going to shove all of this into my big beach bag um, that I have with a zipper so that nothing falls out. All right, so we have the roof carrier already on top of the van. This is stuff that's probably going to be able to fit into the roof carrier. Um, we got a wagon um, this year um, to do instead of strollers. We have a pop-up canopy beach toys and um, we use a mesh laundry bag so we can shake out the sand um, for beach toys chairs for my husband and I and then kids chairs pool float or actually pool float and then puddle jumpers for the big kids and then that's actually a baby pool that we take down to the beach um, to let Colton kind of splash around in so he's not running into the water the whole time um, and then just fishing stuff for my husband and big kids. And over here we have two um, bed rails. The big kids will be sleeping on twin beds, but they're used to sleeping on bunk beds that have rails. So we'll put those on um, just so they're not falling off and waking up. And then just a pack and play for Colton to sleep in our room, only because he's still waking up in the middle of the night. Don't want him waking up the big kids. All right, we are loaded down, ready to go. Everyone ready for the beach? Yes. Roof carrier filled, it's closed, and we are piled high back there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any tips or tricks or must-haves that you guys use for your family for packing um, for the beach or just vacation in general, I would love to hear them. Please comment those down below. And if you haven't checked out our tips for traveling with toddlers, please go check that video out. I'll link it um, in the description box. And if you have not already, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we would love to have you and keep you updated on our fun beach vacation this week. Thanks for stopping by.